Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on drawing roads in Blender. This is a mini version of my Curves to Roads product that is out on my Gumroad page. But for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to procedurally make these roads and texture them using geometry notes and of course, how to draw them. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's clear the scene and add in a new curve. I'll be using a Bezier curve right here. Now let's scale this up a few times just so that it is more like the size of a proper road. And now what we want to do is add in a new geometry node by going into our geometry nodes tab and clicking new. Now that we have this, let's go and add in the curve to mesh node right here and add in a profile curve. This will be a curve line. And if we attach these two, we can see that the curve now has a mesh, but it is not properly being formed. So let's go and set the Z to zero, the X to one, and the star X to negative one. This gives us the proper mesh for this, as we can see. But now let's set the material for this road. So let's use a set material node right here, and put that right there. And let's make a new material, material.003. Let's put that right there. And now let's go into the shader editor. There is now, and let's add in a UV map. There we go. Let's add that in. There is no UV map, unfortunately. And why is that? Well, it's because this object is generated with geometry nodes, so we have to make a UV map. Fortunately, that's pretty simple. Let's go into our geometry nodes editor and add in a store named attribute node right here. This will give us the data that we could put into the shader editor. So let's name this gradient X right here. And let's copy this and put one on our profile curve and name it gradient Y. There we go. So now this data, if we set this to one, will be brought into our shader editor. So let's go into there and add in an attribute, name it gradient X, gradient X. And as we can see, it's set to one. So now if we go into the geometry nodes editor again and move this it is now dynamically being controlled by our geometry nodes, which is what we want. So now let's go and add in a spline parameter node right here and put the length factor into the node. And as we could see over here, the length is zero, which is black. And as it goes along, it goes above one, which is why it's so bright here. So this, curve is longer than one meter. It should be around seven or eight meters. As we can see, it gets brighter and brighter as the value goes along. This is our X coordinate for our UV map. So let's copy the spline parameter node and let's use the factor for our Y gradient right here. So as we can see, if we go into the shader editor once more, if we switch this to gradient Y, we could see that we now get the across gradient going from black, which is zero, to white, which is one. So now we have all the data that we need for our UV map. So let's combine it using a converter combine XYZ node right here. Let's hook the gradient Y into the Y, the gradient X into the X. Let's just move these around so they are properly oriented. As we can see, we now have something that resembles a UV map, which is exactly what we want. So now that we have this, let's add in a texture. So let's go into input, texture, image texture. What I'm going to use is a texture from Polygon. And as we could see, it's working pretty well, but we need to scale it so that is properly, so that the texture doesn't repeat so often. And to do that, let's use a vector math node set to multiply. And we can set this to one and we could change the scale here. So that is scaled down. And we could also use a divide node. It just makes it a little bit easier to make sure it doesn't repeat as often. And there we go. This is now working properly. I'm going to press control H on both of these nodes to hide the unused sockets. That just makes it cleaner and more usable. So let's put this over to here and add in a frame. There we go. So yeah, that's all for doing that. So let's learn how to draw these roads. Let's hook the color into the principled BSDF real quick. So to draw these roads, it's pretty simple. You have to go into the edit mode for your curve and click on draw, which is right here. And now that we have this, we could go and draw curve lines. One thing to know, if you go into the tool setting on this side, you need to have the setting set to surface rather than cursor because cursor will make you draw in the air, 
it's the default and we don't want that so make sure it is set to surface there we go one thing that we can see is that this is clipping into the ground but we can fix that by simply going into our geometry nodes editor and adding a set position node i'm just going to organize this a little bit more right after we mesh our curve set position and let's just add 0 0.01 into it. So there we go. Now it is no longer clipping into the ground, which is good. So this is the end node setup for future reference. There we go. It's looking pretty good in my opinion. And also, if you're seeing that the road is too jagged and doesn't have enough polygons, well we could set the spline resolution right here. So if we set this to something like 30, we should see that the road is now smoothened out and we can control that dynamically which is exactly what we want. So that is basically the entire tutorial. Thank you for watching. Check out my Twitter account. There's lots of research and development videos up on there and announcements when new products are coming out. And I will see you in the next tutorial.